In the last 20 years, the Digimon franchise put out many memorable and fun games. A lot of fans still play the older ones, despite the outdated graphics, which means they stood the test of time. Do you prefer the oldies as well, or give the new ones a chance? In this video I will showcase the best and most popular Digimon games. Number 10. Digimon Tamers Battle Spirit Digimon Battle Spirit was released in 2001, internationally in 2003. It was a runner-up for the Game of the Month in January of 2003. The game features Digimon and characters from the first three seasons of the anime. It has a simple fighting scenario, and each Digimon has a handful of special attacks they can perform, like attack or jump, and evolve into the ultimate form. Matches are won by collecting the special spheres called these spirits, and in the end, players must face the final boss, Millennium Mon. The game also features modified samples of the anime soundtrack. Number 9. Digimon Tamers Battle Evolution Also known as Digimon Rumble Arena. This game was released for PlayStation in Japan in 2001 and worldwide in 2002. It was a commercial success and received mixed reviews with a Metacritic score of 64%. Players can choose 24 characters, 15 of which have to be unlocked first, from the Digimon Adventure and Tamer seasons of the anime. The Evolution Gauge is filled by causing damage to the opponent, which enables evolution of Digimon into the ultimate form. Beating the final boss, Gokumon, unlocks it as a playable character. The game's sequel was released two or three years later, depending on the region. Number 8. Digimon Adventure Released in Japan in January 2013, this video game honored the 15th anniversary of Digimon Adventure. As the title says, this game is based on the first season of the anime, and it closely follows its storyline, including the Our War Game movie. It includes not only the main opening theme Butterfly and evolution theme Braveheart, but also the dialogues from the anime. There were some minor changes compared to the anime, for example, all eight main Digimon got ultimate forms in the game, instead of only Agumon and Gabumon. Digimon Adventure sold over 47,000 copies in its debut week, debuting as the third highest selling game of that period in the Media Create software charts. Number 7. Digimon Story, also known as Digimon World DS. Digimon Story was released in 2006. In the game, the player controls a Digimon tamer and embarks on a journey to discover and train more than 230 unique Digimon. The players can also build Digi farms to raise and evolve Digimon. The game received positive reviews and earned a must-buy recommendation for the month. In December 2006, Famitsu included the game in its list of 100 best-selling Nintendo DS games at number 33, with over 213,000 copies sold. Number 6. Digimon Story Moonlight and Sunburst Released in March 2007, these are two games that serve as the second game in the Digimon Story series. Internationally, the games are called Digimon World Dusk and Dawn. The games have received mixed reviews and introduced several new Digimon to the franchise. Depending on the version, players automatically begin with whichever lead Digimon is exclusive to their version. If the player is playing Dusk, the starter Digimon is Lunamon, and if the player is playing Dawn, the starter Digimon is Coronamon. The plot starts with a strange virus that causes an earthquake in the Sunshine and Darkmoon districts, damaging the access points to the digital world and causing many Digimon to mysteriously degenerate into DigiX. Number 5. Digimon World Redigitize This video game was released for the PlayStation Portable in July 2012 and later for the Nintendo 3DS in June 2013 called Digimon World Redigitize Decode. After no English language versions were announced, a fan campaign called Operation Decode, with tens of thousands of signatures, requested the game to be released in English, however, this was in vain. In 2015, a fan translated version was released. The PlayStation Portable version sold over 153,000 copies in the region by the end of 2012, becoming the 74th best selling game of that year. The game features the character Mirei Mikagura who also appears in both Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory and Digimon World Next Order. Number 4. Digimon World 
The game was released in 1999 in Japan and a year later internationally. The story focuses on a human brought to File Island by Digimon. Digimon have been losing their memories and becoming wild and the island has fallen into disarray. The goal of the player is to save the island by helping Digimon recover their memory. The player must raise and take care of the Digimon and train them to make them stronger. The other part of gameplay is battle. Digimon World went on to sell approximately 250,000 copies in the region by February 2000. The English version sold enough copies to qualify as the greatest hits title in North America and became platinum in Europe but received mixed reviews from critics. Number 3. Digimon World Next Order Next Order was released in 2016 for the PlayStation Vita and in 2017 for the PlayStation 4 as the fifth installment in the Digimon World series. It sold a total of over 77,000 copies by the end of 2016, becoming the 98th best-selling software title that year. Digimon World Next Order is a role-playing game set in an open-world environment and played from a third-person perspective, where players take control of a human character who is accompanied by two partner Digimon. Number 2. Digimon World 3 this game was released worldwide for PlayStation in 2002. Digimon World 3 was the first game to be released in America before Japan. Despite receiving generally unfavorable reviews from Western critics, the game seems to be popular among Digimon fans online, having a more friendly gameplay style and usually has a bigger score than the first two games in the series. Digimon World 3 sold enough copies in North America to qualify for Sony's greatest hits line. Unlike past Digimon World games, battles against wild Digimon are random and the battle system, although turn-based, is very different from Digimon World 2. The most notable distinction is that battles are one-on-one -on -one instead of three-on-three. -on -three. Number 1. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is the fifth game in the Digimon Story installment. It was released in Japan in 2015 and internationally in 2016. The game is a fan favorite and got a sequel called Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory in 2017. Both games were released in a complete edition in 2019 for PC and Nintendo Switch. Cyber Sleuth is considered to be a reboot of the Digimon Story series and was developed with player feedback in mind. The game sticks to the main concept of the story series, which has simple turn-based battles with a leveling system as that allows players to be able to play without reading the instructions. The attack and victory animations in Cyber Sleuth were very popular and highly admired. The game received generally favorable reviews. By October 2020, Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory had shipped more than 1.5 million units worldwide. Tell me in the comments below what Digimon games have you played, which one is your favorite, why you like some games and dislike the others. You can include everything from card to video games, mobile, PC or PlayStation. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Stay tuned for more Digimon videos. P.S. Make sure to follow my community page on YouTube, as I will also post updates about upcoming videos there.